The FAA investigating new claims from an alleged Boeing whistleblower raising concerns about the quality of the 787, known as the Dreamliner. Sam Selipour, an engineer with Boeing for more than a decade, alleges in a New York Times piece, and again, these are allegations, that sections of the fuselage on the 787 are, quote, improperly fastened and could break apart mid-flight after thousands of trips. Selipour also says he was repeatedly retaliated against for trying to raise some of these issues to management. In response to these big claims, and they are big, Boeing says, quote, we are fully confident in the 787 Dreamliner. These claims about structural integrity of the 787 are inaccurate and do not represent the comprehensive work Boeing has done to ensure the quality and long-term safety of the aircraft. They go on to say, quote, the issues raised have been subject to rigorous engineering examination under FAA oversight, and that retaliation is strictly prohibited at Boeing. This, though, not the first problem for the 787. Last year, Boeing did temporarily halt 787 deliveries after notifying the FAA that it was conducting, quote, additional analysis on a fuselage component. At that time, they also reiterated there was no safety concern. Selipour is set to testify on Capitol Hill next week in a hearing entitled Examining Boeing's Broken Safety Culture. Not exactly a leading title there, is it? Shares of Boeing down almost 2% today. Let's bring in American Airlines pilot and Allied Pilots Association spokesman Dennis Tager. He has voiced concern in the past about Boeing planes. Captain Tager, good to have you back on. Would you fly a 787 right now? Well, yeah, I don't. I, I would fly on it as a passenger, but this. I was this just in one. Just, Didn't even think about it. Yeah, I, I hear you. You know, simply put, what a mess. Uh, and it just keeps rolling in. Now, surely this is going to be investigated. Boeing is denying it. Some of those uh, statements that they made, uh, it's kind of like just the classic uh, thing that Boeing says. And normally that would work. But see, the trust at Boeing uh, from the operator side and even passenger side and the regulator is at an all-time low. So uh, we're going to find out what happened. Uh, the FAA has definitely said they're going to be there. They're going to live in the house and find out what's happening. Um, you know, airplanes are not like IKEA furniture. You can't just press them to fit and then jam in a, uh, a securing bolt. Uh, if this is what happens on this very delicate, uh, I shouldn't say delicate, but precisely engineered composite material, and you didn't analyze whether that would impact it, yeah. um, then we've got a problem. Um, so... Uh, you know, I know you, you cover the street on this. I mean, we've got a uh, 30 percent uh, drop since the door blew off the Alaska flight, some 40 billion dollars of market cap. Um, you know, this leadership team, uh, I know they just announced there are going to be some changes that Calhoun's going to leave at the end of the year. Um, it just seems like when they're they're reaching the surface to breathe some air, they just go right back under because they're wearing cement shoes. I, well, listen, I want to be clear, too. These are allegations. The term whistleblower, by the way, can be a hot button tie. You call somebody a whistleblower, it sort of implies credit and authority, right? That they're coming forward with the truth. A lot of whistleblowers are found to be frauds or they're just not. So I want to be careful, right? We don't have any idea. Boeing denies it. This gentleman says it. We'll let other people figure that out. But to your point, you got this Capitol Hill thing on Boeing's broken safety culture. What does Boeing need to do? I mean, what, what, you know, I don't want to put this all on David Calhoun either because there were plenty of problems. And Boeing went through a litany of CEOs prior to David, who, by the way, I do know because they had all kinds of different issues with management, affairs, and all kinds of stuff. Uh, you nailed it. It's, it's like a, a bad reality TV show. Uh, this issue at Boeing is decades in the making, and it's going to take more than a news cycle or a few quarters to straighten it out. It's certainly going to take different people. Um, but this is so ingrained and so in rooted into the Boeing tree that um, it, it's just going to take a lot of time. And, you know, I'm bringing in recycled. I know there's great fanfare over GE's way of doing business back in the Jack Welch days. But, um, you know, GE's starting to mean good enough. And um, I don't know who needs we don't know who needs to be there to get this done. But this good old boys network sans agenda of recycling people it's just just not the answer. And whistleblowers, by the way, you're, you're right that sometimes, you know, you've got to find out if it's true or not. But with Boeing, we found time and time again that the allegations are backed up by data 
and uh, are, are true. Yeah. Now we're going to find out on this one, but benefit of the doubt is starting to run a little bit thin here with Boeing. 